Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Today we got another Dollar Tree haul. I went yesterday, but it was kind of too late to film, so I'm filming this morning. I'm in my pajamas. I just woke up not too long ago. Kind of a hot mess, but it is what it is. I'm going to show you what I got. So without further ado, let me show you. So, I got one, two, three, four more of these lights. They actually have them now also in silver, which I think I might have bought the silver if they were there the last time, but because I already had two of the other ones, I realized I was incorrect and there is more area where I could put these things. They work really great. And I think now having three on each side is going to be a little bit more lit up than just having one. But I'm happy. I'm in for a dollar. So four dollars. got these. Can't wait to put them in there. <laughs> this is just going to be random. <laughs> I picked up some mayonnaise. <laughs> um, We're almost out of mayo and I was at Big Lots before I went to the Dollar Tree and all they had was like the bigger ones that were like $3.25 and I was like, I don't want mayo that bad. So, so I picked up this one for a dollar. Hopefully it's good. It's by Mrs. Clark's Mayonnaise. I don't know. Good till when? February 2022. So got some time. <laughs> and then I picked up Paco another one of his little blankets. These are baby blankets or they're sold in the baby blanket place area. Can I get it off? And it's just how these little thunderstorms little clouds going on I bought all of the little ones there he seemed to like them they're like very soft let me just get this all out and then we'll give it to Paco three of them keep you safe Paco let's see and they're pretty big too very soft and they even wash well too Paco not here like, what are you doing, Mom? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> and then I picked up some marinades by Supreme Traditions. They had a herb and garlic. I forget how much the ones I get when I get great value, but I think they're more than a dollar. I think it's like a dollar fifty. So I figured I'd try it out. The herb and garlic. Awesome chicken. And then I also picked up oh, this is one of the light things. <laughs> I picked up a uh, same brand, and I got the teriyaki one. We use teriyaki. I put it on chicken, pork, stuff like that. So they for a dollar. Couldn't have beat that. Supreme Traditions. And then, I, don't know, I figured, since I said I wanted another one, I just bought two more. <laughs> they came in this color and red. Yeah, this and red. I picked the blue. Um, you can use it for whatever you want. You can use this for, I mean, even if you didn't want to use it for food, you could use it for accessories, things in your bathroom. You can probably even put it in your drawer and use it for stuff like that. I'm planning on using it maybe for like dips and chip. Maybe little appetizers. You want to throw some like nuts or something in there. You could do like veggies on the outside and a veggie dip in the middle. Or just all veggies. So now I have three. So I'm completely prepared. And I was literally standing there going, should you buy four? Should you get a fourth one? And I'm like, no, Melissa. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> all right. Then I picked up, I don't know, I don't have one of these. This is by Cooking Concepts. Jumbo Turner. Jumbo Turner. I figured you do this for pancakes. I was thinking maybe, like, over easy eggs. Because sometimes they're hard to flip. And I don't have one. I don't have anything that's this big wide. So I guess it's made for pancakes. I guess you can use whatever you want. But got that. I don't know where I'm going to put that because it's pretty big. <laughs> and then I picked up the Good Sense. There's uh, eight in these. There's another brand that has ten of them. But it looks cheesier. So I'm, I'm going to stick to this one because I know it's good. Um... And it's scented. Oh, I didn't even know it's scented. That was smell thing. So these are for work. I just got these for work. I don't. I, sometimes I'll bring the ones from home, but it's kind of nice to just have a box of my own just at work to use. And then my mom said she saw this and she said she would never play this game because you have to put the thing in your mouth. But I was like, I could put the thing in the mouth and then just have them guess. So it's the Say It Again game. <laughs> and. Oh, it comes with two of these little mouth guard things. Mouth. Oh, for two different sizes. <laughs> and then it comes with cards. And it's not food, Paco, I promise you. And a dice that'll tell you kind of where to put. Like what ones you're going to do. I'm going to do one and see if you guys can guess. Which one should I use? Oh, that's big. Hokey, hokey, 
Hokey, hokey. <laughs> that was hokey pokey. <laughs> so I figured they'd come over. I can think my mom laughed. I'm trying to guess. I can even go down a whole entire page to see if she can guess them. Three dollars. You can't beat that. They actually have like the full size like game like that, and I'm pretty sure it's more than a dollar. And then I don't know. I bought this hot cold um, ice pack or hot pack or whatever. I have one at home. Let's see. Oh, it comes with even a little sleeve. I have one at home, and it's huge, huge, and it's got these little balls. So when you put it on like my back, you feel these little knobbies on it. And sometimes I just want to put it like around my neck just like this and it doesn't really conform that well because it has the little knobby things and they're like complete hard ice. So I got this for that reason. I mean, it seems it'll be fine. This is a little bit of a cheesy of a cover, but it'll be fine too. You could always even just wrap it in a like a towel. So I got that. I got another thing too. And I've never had one of these. So this is just a, like an ice pack. I guess you put water in it and then you... I've seen them before on like Wish and stuff, like funny looking ones. I figured it'd be good if you have a headache. I don't really get headaches that much, but sometimes I get like just like tension up in here. I wouldn't call it a headache. But I figured I'd leave this in the in the freezer too. Or if I just have like one little thing right here that hurts, I can just put it on that. Got that. And then you guys told me to buy sand or rocks or something to put in that um DIY I did last time. I wanted to buy rocks. They were out of so many things. I did hear, overhear them saying that they were getting a new shipment on Monday because there was like a lot of empty spaces, but I don't want to wait. So let me go, I guess, put the sand in the thing. We can see if it works good. And you guys were right. <laughs> I used almost the whole entire thing. I may pour the rest in later. I just didn't want to accidentally spill it. Come from in and there and back out. But yeah, look, they're all standing up now. Great idea, guys. Super excited for that. <laughs> I'll be able to find everything. Then, I picked up this wood chime, wind chime, and you paint it. You don't need my anti crack. What does it say for ages? Five and up. I mean, I'm 41. So it gives you a little shark. This thing, all these strings. And your wind chimes. <laughs> I have a little spot where I can put a wind chime, which I don't know if it'll actually work. I don't know when I'm going to do this. I will do it. If I do it before the video comes out, I'll insert a clip right here. If you didn't see it right now, <laughs> and then I didn't do it yet. <laughs> okay, guys. So here's what we were going for. And here's what I accomplished. I dare anybody to use that brush and try to make these intricate little lines. Like, it's not happening. And I didn't go grab, like, a more fine tip brush because I wanted to be authentic using the actual kit of what they give you. If I make a job like this, could you imagine what a kid would do? <laughs> what happened right there? <laughs> so needless to say, I probably won't be hanging this up, but at least I did it. You guys got to see it. Nailed it, right? Nailed it. All right, now back to the video. I'm gonna get all this together because I don't want to lose any of the pieces. I probably shouldn't rip the bag like that. Anything else? Nope, okay. Next, I just picked up a regular old Sharpie. Um, I use Sharpies to usually write on my packages so I know, like, from Wish, so I know what the price is. And my one I have is really fat, and sometimes I have a hard time reading it <laughs> when it comes time to review or if a package is small so let's see what tip this is oh man <laughs> why did i read the thing i thought it was like a marker marker ultra fine <laughs> ultra fine i mean it should work <laughs> dang it i saw sharpie there was two other people that are in like right by all the pens and stuff and they were like camped up and she was having like a big conversation with her son. And I don't want to like, excuse me, can I? So I just grabbed it and kind of threw it in the cart and left. But it'll work. <laughs> we'll make it work. And then I picked up these magnetic clips. So it's a four pack. 
because I am tired of the ones that I have on my fridge when I clip. Like right now I have something clipped to it for my um, airplane flight. And it looks like two pieces of paper and it's like sliding down the thing. So I'm hoping these are going to be a little bit more heavy duty. And I can throw those other ones away. Because they were very crappy. I'm not going to lie. I don't know where they were from. But I've had them for probably like 10 years. Alright, what else we got? I got this because it was cute. It's a brush cleaner. I know I have 15,000 different ways to clean my brushes. But I like this one. I thought it was really cute. They had different shapes. A fruit. There was a fruit. There was a diamond. I think a unicorn. But it has a little suction right here. You suck it to, to your sink or whatever. And then you can just clean your brushes right on there. So I may even just leave this kind of out in the sink. I don't know. We'll see. Got that. And then I got a first aid kit to put in my new car. Because you never know when stuff happens. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to bring this to work. Because every once in a while, like, you might have, like, a little cut or a little something. How many pieces are in here? I think I'm going to to work. So it's got 21 items. Here's everything that's inside of it. I'll hold it for a second so you can see it all. But yeah, you might get a little cut at work or something. So maybe I'll keep this one ready to work. Maybe I'll buy another one for my car. Yeah, I'll do that. I have one in my old car, but when I opened it up, when I changed cars, um... Like, the adhesive wasn't even sticky anymore in this stuff, and everything was all, like, dried out. <laughs> you probably shouldn't leave in your car. <laughs> Alright, and then I picked up... I don't know, I've never had this. It was liquid skin. I also brought this to bring to work, because sometimes you might get, like, a little cut. And if you can put it on... I put that on, I won't have to worry about putting, like, a finger cut on or something. So I brought this to bring to work, too. I'd like to be prepared at work. I probably can even fit this in this. I bet I can all right, and now for kind of like a bunch of things that kind of go together. So, get it all out. So, when you go to the Dollar Tree, you can you find like these. So, this is just a regular pole. And then they had all these different options of things that you could screw on. So, I saw this thing. And I was like, yes. Not only does it have the sticky Velcro at the bottom, but it also has the things up top where you can clip. They also had one for like a broom. They had one twist on for like a push broom. And I want to say they had a mop top too. Let me show you what I'm working with now. So this is my reveal mop. As you can tell, I've had it for a long time and never cleaned it. It cleans, but I don't clean it. Um, it's big, it's bulky. The trigger now is starting to get a little bit harder to push. And these things at the bottom are starting to get a little less absorbent from all the washes. So I said, you know what, Melissa? Buy this one. Throw that thing away. You've had it for probably, I don't know, over 10 years. <laughs> and that thing I think was like 20 something dollars. And then I bought extra of the refill bottom parts. And I think they were like six or six or something dollars. So one dollar, one dollar. And then they had different ones of these. So this I got the heavy duty one. They had a heavy duty and a light duty. But I was like, why not just get the heavy duty? So I got two of these. I'm excited about which I may if, if it works out well and I like it a lot I'll buy a couple more of them and then they also had which I'm going to bring these to work but because I'm gonna I'm, I usually spray when I do my house I bring these to work it's Brillo eight of them eight of the wet things eight for a dollar that just seems like a bargain <laughs> I mean to me that just seems like a bargain so I'm bringing that to work and then I, since I, I bought this I picked up one of these for my house. So I already start using these at work. And you get how many in here? Of like a ton. 15. 15 of the dry ones. 15 for a dollar. I wish I could tell you the exact price for like both of these for the actual Swiffer brand. But I bought the real Swiffer for work. To use at work. If I would have known this was there, I would have bought this. If only I had known. I mean, I usually check the whole entire store. But you know like when you're checking the whole entire store, but yet you're not really like looking at everything, or you might be in a rush, or you're like already got, I call it the hand buggy, you already got your little arm cart <laughs> basket, you already got your basket completely filled, and you're like, I don't feel like dealing with this. So I really didn't even know they had like all this different stuff. I've seen, I saw these, but I didn't even think about putting it with this, and I didn't even see all these things. So these are pretty good all. 
Yes, I got a lot of stuff to bring to work. But I'm excited to go set up these. I'm going to go do that right now. Like I said, if I get done, I probably won't do it before the video comes out. <laughs> but if I'll do, if I do do it, I'll, I'll totally insert it. <laughs> so, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't yet subscribed, wanna? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.